Hello everyone and welcome back to Rosebud, our kingdom in The Sims Medieval and I am so excited to be back because today we are going to add another building to our kingdom and another hero which means we'll be able to play as them and go on new quests as them um, because right now we can only go on quests as the monarch which is totally fine because Lady Luna is awesome but I want to be able to go on like other quests as a new hero and embark on a new adventures <laughs> um but anyway so in the last video i asked you which building we should unlock next and it was it was really close like super close between the barracks over here which will give us security the wizard's tower which will give us knowledge and the smithy which will give us security and a bit of culture and you could check your aspects by clicking on this little arrow and you could see we're a neutral with uh well-being security and and culture and we're very knowledgeable as a kingdom which is great because we want to max all of these out eventually and we could get more aspects by of course doing quests which will give us more RP resource points and that will allow us to unlock even more buildings the green ones and the red ones which cost more uh, and that will in turn give us even more aspects so all of this is great quests are great <laughs> but the wizards tower did win so we are going to add a male wizard to our kingdom today but because the smithy and barracks were so close it was like just a couple points they were a couple points away from winning um let me know in the comments of this video which one you would like me to unlock next once we're done completing a quest uh the smithy or the barracks and then leave me a name suggestion for a female hero because we're going male female male female just to like you know mix it up every time um so smithy or barracks and then female name for the hero that uh you know will be unlocked with the building that gets the most votes so let's go ahead and unlock the wizard's tower the wizard's tower is a mysterious structure dedicated to the arcane arts no one is really sure what goes on in here but the eerie sounds colorful lights and the occasional explosion could be a clue so we're going to do the same thing that we did with the throne room and just get it burnished and then i'll, I'll mess around with it later on but i just want to like jump into the game and start a quest and and do that fun stuff so let's get it furnished and uh, oh, it's so pretty it's so majestic and well we'll add a wizard i did already create one just to save time um so i'll just show you the wizard stuff and i'll show you the witch's hat <gasps> look at this it's so lovely it's really pretty it's really nice <laughs> and then i'll show you the female um like which is female wizard outfits so here's the first one which i is one of my favorites this preset though reminds me of esmeralda like the colors you know and this one i think i showed you um for the female monarch this one i definitely did so i won't show you that one but here is a new one and this is also a a new one um and then this one i think is probably my favorite just because she has her like book of spells on her belt oh, it's so cool and then here is the last one for the the wizard and then i've already showed shown you this one uh so let's go to the males in the last video at the very end i showed you the male hairstyles so i'm not going to show you those again but i will show you this hat because i think it's new i think this is the the male wizard hat i don't know it just reminds me of gandalf right just a little bit just because it has that that curve right and it's all stitched it just looks really nice and his hair underneath it oh it's so pretty this game is so pretty it's just so nice okay um so let's change his hair so it's not casting a shadow on anything and then i will show you the eyebrows i can't really see that so let me change his color the the hair color uh, and here are the different eyebrows they're very similar to the female eyebrows i don't know if i showed you the eyebrows at the end of the last video but i'm just going to show you these anyway let me change this color too so you could see them and here's the facial hair because i'm pretty sure at the end of the last video uh, i just showed you the hairstyles for the monarch and the outfits but there's all that stuff and here are the wizard outfits 
Oh, they're just so great. And I don't know, there's probably some of these that are for the other heroes as well. That one's my favorite. Um, but yeah, here are the different wizard ones. <laughs> I'm just so, uh, I don't know. I'm just so impressed by the graphics. I do have my graphics set to high. Which I think I might have mentioned before. So I'm going to uh, bring in my character that I saved. And then I will show you the wizard that we're going to add to Rosebud. So here is our new wizard. He's got the stereotypical like grayish hair and wise eyes. I was thinking of like Gandalf and Dumbledore. I hope I said Gandalf for the hat. I don't know because that's what I was thinking. Not Dumbledore. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, so he might thought train of thought for him was that he's searched far and wide for like a lotion or a potion or a fountain of youth to keep him younger or longer or just to have him live forever right and he's found something but it has this adverse effect that's slowly like killing him and so he's had to study the the arcane arts and become this like great and powerful wizard to combat whatever adverse effect it has um and so he's lived for like hundreds of years he's like 700 something years old and so he's you know slowly dying <laughs> sounds like so sad that's just what I thought of when I was making him um but he's like super adorable and so he's just trying to like stay alive and and trying to come up with the best lotion or potion to keep him alive longer right so he doesn't die um because that's just the, what he wants I don't know and then he also wants to help people so I gave him my favorite eyebrows because I just had to have someone that had eyebrows like this and I mean he has has, like he kind of looks like the the build master with the beard and stuff but it's all right it's all right um he's pretty adorable <sighs> he's so cute okay so our name i decided because um you know the wizard tower one i decided to go with the comment that was most voted for that voted for the wizard tower i thought that was you know fair so thank you to wrath's bride for suggesting blaze white staff for our wizard's name isn't that just such a great wizard name thank you so so much again wrath's bride for suggesting that blaze white staff so cool. I totally forgot to let you listen to his voice and also show you his traits when I was recording. So here is his voice. Ornis Balcor. And here are the other male voices as well. Canic Sepidor. Yelsa Vibari. Suavent. And then here are the uh, um, his traits. So he is dedicated. Dedicated Sims love their jobs, but often take on a heavier workload than they can really handle. Getting more stuff done has its rewards, though, if they're up to the challenge. He is also eloquent. Eloquent Sims have the gift of gab. Just a few words from an eloquent Sim are enough to inspire or comfort anyone. And of course, they have to have a fatal flaw. So his is hubris. Sims with hubris get so full of themselves when they successfully do things. That they become blinded by their own hubris so those were his traits and his voice and now back to the video let's add blaze to our kingdom to rosebud and start a new quest as a wizard so let's get out of that go and start a quest i have to look for a quest that we can oh we can already do this i don't really want knowledge though yeah, I don't want knowledge. So let's get back and, and do something that won't give us knowledge. And we can't play as a monarch, so let me just try to find something. Oh, here we go. Okay, primary hero, knight, wizard, spy. So we can play as a wizard. So which one is this? Bounty hunt, wild boar, 3QP. Uh, quest points. Bounty hunt wild boar. A massive wild boar has taken up residence in the nearby forest, go gorging itself on wild truffles and charging at anyone foolish enough to disturb it. A bounty is offered to anyone brave enough to slay the beast and bring its tusk back as proof of their deed. Aw. Um, so we can either slay the boar or save the boar. It was already selected on this one, but I, I want to save the boar. Help the boar escape before the other hunters find and kill it. And we could play as a wizard we'll get a bit of security and we'll get 30 RP we'll get 750 simoleons great always good to have extra money and 880 XP experience points uh, we're an adept wizard level 1 which you know is understandable uh, this is kind of like a, a harder quest but it's all right <laughs> uh, I think I read this yes I did I read that so we will we'll start the quest 
we'll start the quest and we'll look at our new our new thing and i have to make sure i read these because otherwise they disappear and i can never read them again well i could read them while i'm editing them back and and edit it so you can read them um make them well anyway okay so recently lady luna offered a bounty for anyone able to bring down the massive boar which has been terrorizing the kingdom 1000 similes was offered to attract the attention of bounty hunters and glory seekers to rosebud adept blaze considered the reward but determined that the life of such a magnificent creature outweighed any compensation lady luna could offer the only challenge uh, a challenge however was to find the boar before the other bounty hunters and help it escape unscathed well i mean they're going into the the forest and bothering and the poor thing okay so oh it's like oh my goodness it's like the uh the the thing the monster that's over there in whoa i was i didn't mean for that to happen okay okay how do i get back how do i get back i forgot that um navigating in this game is really strange okay well I, okay i just let's just stay here for a moment and i'll show you what this this wizard's tower looks like anyway <laughs> i think it's called the beast or something but this is the first level and here's the second one. Oh, check this out. I really like the doors. Those are really pretty. I want some of those in, in my future house or something. <gasps> Look at all this. This is really nice. It's so lovely. And then let's go outside too. I want to see what it looks like outside. Let me go. So this is what it looks like out here. I believe we can unlock the clinic, which is over here, which kind of makes sense. They, they sort of go together and we have this lovely garden that we can harvest and um we can't interact with that but we can interact with that oh can we pick these are these like dandelions no <gasps> oh it's so lovely okay so we have some stuff to do what do we have to do i shall travel to the throne room first and learn about the bounty hunt where is everyone searching for the wild boar and i have to make sure a lot of you were rem reminding me to make sure that i take care of his his like moodlets because otherwise it's going to be bad and it's going to negatively affect our quest performance and you know being someone that likes to get gold and, and platinum on on stuff i have to keep an eye on that so he's hungry which means i need to feed him and i noticed that there's like this thing i gotta make food okay let's make some gruel because we can and it's free and then we also have to do these before the day's over research for two hours and pay taxes i need to remember to pay my taxes at the messenger post all right well we have a thousand similes uh ooh, what a nice the bowl of gruel looks delicious eat it hurry hurry up <laughs> and then where is his like mailbox thing does he have one or do we have to go like all the way somewhere else i didn't see a post anywhere around here so i'm just going to have him go to the throne room and then we will pay our taxes over there since there's a post over there and we will follow adept blaze as, because that's what they're they're calling him oh enough of these wild boar hunts our forest will be depleted of wildlife if hunters keep slaughtering delightful creatures like boars maybe i should speak with royal advisor Beta and ask her to call off this foolish hunt okay where's Beta? Beta? i don't remember what Beta looks like oh there she is well hold on let me pay my taxes before i forget because uh i might <laughs> <laughs> and uh what do we have to do we have to choose is there any way for adept blaze to stop the wild boar hunt there's no way the royal advisor will call off the bounty hunt i should just search the other hunters he's giving up he's not even going to bother asking her what about a bounty hunt for wild dragons oh so we could ask her um to hunt for dragons i mean there's still wildlife but dragons i i haven't seen a dragon in this game yet so let's just avoid them for now <laughs> who knows they might be friendly <laughs> maybe not okay let's just go talk to the hunters shall we i need to stop these other bounty hunters if i have a chance of saving the wild boar let's go let's go save some wild boar um right right i want to watch you pay your taxes though he's very happy about it blaze deposited a hundred similes and we now want to find the other bounty hunters uh, for hunting the wild boar, Bobus, what? Bobus go pop, Bobus pop. I'm having trouble with that. Uh, they have set up a campsite 
campsite just outside the forest. Okay, so it looks like we can just go to location. Hey! No, I want to... Oh. There we go. So <gasps> Surrender! Is that Lady Luna? No. I don't think her armor looks like that. Where is Lady Luna? Oh, Lady Luna! Oh, she's being a good queen and doing some stuff. Maybe she's writing a love letter <gasps> to the Druidess. Oh, possibly. The Druidess is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, Blaze, you're taking forever. Let's go. Run, run, run. Put some pep in your step. Are we there yet? No. Now we are. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Bland meal. Oh, no. Um, slightly focused. Blaze mildly high. Uh, focus is having small positive effect on quest performance. Oh, good. Good. Why is this like that color then? Why is it like a neutral color if it's a positive thing? It's going up. It's silver and it's going up. I must meditate to divine a suitable plan. Um, okay. How do I do that? Uh, slowing down these bounty hunters will require, will require deep contemplation. I should meditate and determine the best plan. Uh, do we have to, like, go home? Oh, we could go to sleep in here. Are you tired? Um, whittle. Meditate! Alright, let's meditate. Let's do this. Where are you? Wait, why? Why did it just fast forward? <gasps> They're not even phased by this. Whoa, that that guy's eyes are like red. Wow, Blaze. I'm i I'm just in awe. I mean, look at all of this that's happening. Blaze, okay, Blaze, we need to speed this up. I've been watching him for a while now. I know what this looks like. <laughs> okay. Hurry up. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Uh, the energy of these hunters seems different. Perhaps one one can be persuaded through conversa conversation, but the other may require more drastic measures. Oh, we're going to have to fight one of them is what I gathered from that. So this video ended up being pretty long and I decided to cut it into two parts, but continue to vote for either the Smithy or the Barracks and leave a female name suggestion for the hero that will be unlocked with that building. And then we'll go on a quest with them and get more resource points. And I, I thought that maybe we could unlock one of the more expensive buildings after that. You know, the, the ones that are worth like 30 resource points. I thought that would be pretty fun. And after that, maybe we could go back and play as Lady Luna and then play as Blaze again because we didn't really get to play uh, as them really and then experience being a monarch and a wizard and then from now on we'll kind of take it slow with our heroes and then go through like all of the fun stuff that they have to offer and bring to the to the game and then afterwards we will unlock whichever you know smithy or barracks that didn't get picked after that that would be pretty fair since it was it was like really close it seriously was so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are in the world and i will talk to you all later bye everyone.